What is going on, interwebs? We're back for some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This is Evie's mission. Just did Jacob's. Yard. Guard quarters. Bruce's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter. <laughs> I love how they have in parentheses what the fucking phrase actually means. <laughs> Meter. The assassin, the uh, fuck, the Jacob video went up earlier today. I'm doing this one uh, immediately after, though it won't come out till like six or seven, probably. Uh, you might have noticed I was whistling as Jacob. It's because I've I've already played through this in my uh, initial playthrough. I botched that real hard. I was supposed to headshot him. It would have been faster. I will be looting all the enemies because I need the extra cash. Oh, come on. That wasn't even I wasn't even aiming at him. I was over his shoulder and I still hit him. Whatever, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Though, that first shot was a headshot in my opinion, but the game didn't give it to me. But, uh, yeah, this video will come out later today, probably. It's abnormal. Ah, oh, fuck, I've, I've watched this so hard. Oh! Come on, god damn it. I love the Assassin's Creed games, but sometimes the controls, they just... Mm. See if I can get some knives back. Of course not. I'm gonna throw this guy off the train. For shits and giggles. Ooh, right into the wall. Ugh. It's a good thing he was dead already, or that would really hurt. But when I first installed this, I went ahead and started playing it because I thought it was like other Assassin's Creed games where you could have multiple game saves. I figured I'd have my own private save, and then I'd have the Let's Play save. But apparently that's not a thing in this one, so... I had to go back into the Manage Game part of it and completely delete the save data and start it fresh, which, eh, it's no big deal, I wasn't that far in anyway. I'm gonna see if I can ledge assassinate this guy. Never mind, I guess not. Oh, come on, I pressed B. Let's see if I can kick this guy off the train. Ooh. No, I'm not gonna get loot back. At least I got some knives. Come on. There we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes the controls are just... <laughs> You're telling me he didn't get the first whistle? It's just sometimes the controls are fucked. They get wonky. I'm not gonna nab all the loot. I'm just gonna nab the loot that I know exists. That I got on my first run through. Just so I have a smells like Jacob's cooking. I had to start on the uh, upgrades, which are as, are expensive as fuck. Uh, 
How does that not hurt her hand? Also, how does that even happen? How does that work? How could you put your fucking train apart? That doesn't make any sense. Game logic. I shouldn't try to... F I shouldn't try to refute game logic. Game logic is game logic. It works no matter what you do. Follow me down the tracks. Game logic is infallible. Keep a look at All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. No, you won't. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. How would it come apart? Not your concern. Bring back the cargo. That's right. Fuck off. because I got up early this morning not because I'm bored <laughs> this game is actually really fun black flag will still always be my favorite but I just love the dialogue in this one oh, apparently I had to press a any other time I would have done it automatically device your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention you have been given more than enough time to achieve results sir david i was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel permit me to remind you of your obligation to the order miss thorn you ride me like a racehorse sir david i will return tomorrow if you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. It looks like the fucking Mad Hatter. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Why is it in every Assassin's Creed game, the person you play as, and in this case right there it was Eevee, when they talk at certain points in the game, they just leave their mouth open. Like right there. It happens in every fucking Assassin's Creed game. Don't believe me, go back and check. Go back and play them for yourself if you still have them. Go back and look at gameplays on YouTube. It happens in every single one. And there's always like that one scene that it happens. It's like it never happens after that or before that. But after. I mean, it doesn't happen before or after that. And then it's just it's, it's the one random scene every fucking time. And you can see my sub-objective is kill enemies with hanging barrels. I already got two. So I guess this is also a uh, completionist, completionist run-through? I don't know. I'm gonna try goddamn real hard to do it. There's two more. The guy on the right actually walks around apparently because he was walking, so be wary of that. You might want to get high. So you can actually see the radius of the uh, barrel. I don't know what you call it. Explosion? I don't know. It might only be three dollars, but goddammit, it's three dollars more than I had. They're three pounds. Make sure no one's around this guy. No witnesses.
I mean, I don't look like the train from fucking Harry Potter. Hogwarts Express. Platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Oh, that's new. I've never pulled him over before. I'm not trying to be mean towards British people. I'm not trying to make an actual real British accent. I'm just trying to do the cliche. <laughs> cliche stupid one. <laughs> I guess that's why the fucking. I didn't want to get here. <sighs> I'm too focused on talking that I'm fucking up the path. Um, I guess that's why the the kids when they say, "So somebody snuffed it." it I guess that's why it gets me so hard. It's because it's just so British sounding, and to hear that little little baby, a little babe, say that shit is just fucking hilarious. I hope to God I get it in a fucking let's play. I got it's so fucking funny to me. You know, some people might hear it and be like, "Wow, that's not funny at all. This dude's fucking retarded." Sure, fine. Maybe you don't think it's funny, but I do. So fuck you. <laughs> I get a really good chuckle out of it. There's a lot of audio cues in these games. That's how you know when you're close to treasures when you hear this twinkling sound. I will say that I got to the point in the game where I was finding a lot of the collectibles. If you hear something that sounds like a music box, or like, and there's your last one, as long as he doesn't run. Oh, thank God. If, <laughs> as long as, uh. Uh, shit. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, it sounds like a music box. Like, you know those things where you open it up? Did not expect that guy to be there. You open it, you open it up and it's like a tiny ballerina inside and it has that music playing. Music box. I can't get a headshot because the fucking thing's in the way. Uh, there we go. Um, That's a collectible. Like, in every Assassin's Creed game, there's like an assortment of collectibles you need to get to come together to make a single solitary piece of a whole and they get you some kind of like elitist endgame armor um it was like that in black flag with the mayan shit you got that armor that basically made you immune to bullets because they just ricocheted off um what was it in two I don't remember what it was in 2. I, I want to say it was Armor of the Brutus? Brutus Armor or something? Um... Ah, oh, shit! Well, well. <sighs> I'm too focused on talking, I'm fucking up. Um... Get this guy when he gets to the top of the stairs. What was it in 3? There was one in 3. I think it was just some kind of legendary armor suit or something. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played three. But the music box is probably unlocked type shit like that. It's probably some elitist endgame armor. Um, I don't think the flowers make a noise because there's pressed flowers. You know, people take a flower and then they put it inside a journal. I heard the twinkling. That's why I came over here. Um, they take like a flower and they put it in a journal and they close the journal on it and it makes it just a pressed flower. I don't think those collectibles make any sounds. But treasure chests do, obviously. I don't think the helix fragments do either. But you'll see them all eventually. Okay, it didn't affect them. It was right at their feet, and it didn't affect them at all. Ugh, I am so fucking botching this. 
It went so much smoother on my first playthrough. But then that always the case. As soon as you start recording, just the shit hits the fan. What do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? That face. And then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. I love this dialogue. Untie me. You got yourself in. I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Mad Hatter has a few tricks up his sleeve. I don't know much about that guy. I know he runs income type shit like uh, bare knuckle fighting and races. That's about all I know. I don't know if he has like a subplot or anything. I hope he does. He's a cool character. I hope he's not just some like NPC they put in his filler to for the fucking fighting and the racing. I hope he actually has like a story part. He, he seems like a cool interesting character so I hope they just didn't make him like a non- Consequential NPC, you know. I'm gonna take the high route just because, you know, assassin. What are you doing? Keep that key in your pocket, or else Miss Thorne will have your guts for garters. Let's have a butcher's downstairs then. I wanna see that artifact. Not if you value your life. Fuck, I've already screwed it up. I should have gone in through the bottom. On my first playthrough, I was already behind that guy when he started that dialogue, and I already nicked his key. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. See if I can get here and assassinate him before. Oh, shit. Really? I'm just gonna smoke bomb him. No effect whatsoever. Come on, really? Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck off. Impaled his fucking ball sack on the fucking pillar. Got it. Probably tore his gooch. Ah, man, I sniffle a lot in my fucking videos, but I can't help it, man. And you guys who saw my video about me not about me having a hole in my nose, that's precisely why I sniffle as much as I do. Believe me, it annoys me as much as it annoys you. God, God damn it, I did it again. You do that, I'll put an end to your life. Ooh. <laughs> I like how he just floated there for a second, then flopped down. There's more than that one guard. But where? No, get down. No, get down. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, screw this. Screw this. I'm out. God damn it. Shit, there's people behind me. If I kill this dude. Of course, now they leave. Oh! 
I thought I was fucked right there. I thought this guy. I thought that guy right there saw me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna bother doing all those guys in. I'm just gonna steal this dude, take this crate, steal the other dude's corpse. Steal his money off his corpse. And move on. Just wasting time now. I mean, I want the money, but... Here, big boy. Ugh. There you are. The entrance. Not really secret. Not really secret at all. <laughs> Find the secret entrance. Not fucking secret at all. It's just. Giant fucking metal door. How is that a secret? <laughs> Back on track. Three skill points. Ah, yeah. So if you if you didn't know anything about Assassin's Creed Syndicate, there's a skill system. Every Evie and Jacob have the same set of skills, except three. Uh, three only Evie can get, and three only Jacob can get. But I always get the double takedown because it's mandatory. You have to. Uh, the loot takedown, so I don't have to loot their fucking dead bodies. And the lock picking, so I can get into locked chests and doors and shit. Those are always my first three unlocks. Double assassination is kind of finicky sometimes, so it's always best to walk up to them real slow. Not so slow that they see you, but slow enough that you can actually get it to proc or show up. Because sometimes it doesn't, and then when you think you get a double, you only get a single, and then the other guy spots you. So just, just, if there's no chance they can see you, just take your time, just walk up to them, make sure it procs. Because otherwise, you're going to get spotted. And if one of the mission constraints for a bonus objective is not to get spotted, you basically just fucked yourself. And it's just really fucking annoying. I mean, you could restart from last checkpoint, but it's so annoying to have to leave the game start the, from the checkpoint and then just wait for the fucking load screen and then you gotta do all the shit over that you already did from the last checkpoint which may or may not be a lot it's just a huge pain in the ass so it's just better to err on the side of caution that you hear it do you hear the twinkle there it is down there of Eden. Apple of Eden. This is not what Altair fought for. We need results now. I need to go back to the game and finish the achievements. I got, like, I have to rebuy it because I sold it to GameStop to be able to afford Xbox One games. But, uh, I need to go back to it because I need to finish the achievements, the single player achievements anyway. I swear I killed all the Templars, but somehow I managed to miss one and it pissed me off so I just never picked it up again. And then the flags are tedious as fuck. But I'm an achievement whore. Believe me, if I had the option to work at Rooster Teeth with Achievement Hunter, you bet your sweet ass I would because I'm an achievement whore. I really am. <laughs> the chest is back this way. <laughs> Case in point, I got the Mile High achievement in Call of Duty 4, which is a, a fucking undertaking in on itself. Ah, shit.
Okay, he's investigating, so I'm just gonna come up behind him. Don't you fucking turn around. Ooh! I would think that would be most people's dream job. Really, to work at Achievement Hunter. Or Rooster Teeth in general. But it's specifically Achievement Hunter, because... I mean, yeah, they do editing, yeah, they do side stuff, yeah, they do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, because they don't just do Achievement Hunter shit, they do shit for the entire company. Some of them are voice actors on Ruby, some of them are voice actors on the other fucking animations that they have. So, I mean, they do other stuff besides Achievement Hunter stuff. And Jeff... Not spelt the same way as me, he uses G-E-O-F-F. -F, but... You know, Jeff has meetings and shit out the asshole. But I mean, essentially, they play video games for a living upon the other stuff. And they edit videos and stuff. You see the sub objective to air assassinate this dude? There you go. You gotta be quick about it, though, because that electricity will fucking kill you. It is time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. <laughs> like he did right now? You will not stop that. <laughs> that, That's a road I'm not gonna go down because that's a touchy subject. <laughs> I will take that one too. We fight. Evie's kinda hot. It's in our nature. Brooding and foreboding, because, I mean, she's a fucking assassin, but still. I tap dead. <laughs> and I can say that because it's a joke. And the better half knows it's a joke. She knows nobody can replace her, but... <laughs> I mean, we make jokes about... I mean, her characters in the MMOs she plays anyway. When she asks me if I like the way her character looks, I'm like, yeah, I'd tap that. <laughs> she, she's all smiles and stuff, so, well, it's all in good fun. Oh, God, she took it on the chin. Keep going. That was far too close. Find a way out. I think for games like Assassin's Creed, I'm just gonna upload twice a day. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll probably just do twice a day for games like this. There's so much content to show off. I kind of like I, I say I do let's plays, but then I just I I don't finish them. So, I, I think this is going to be the one I finish. I need to go back to Murdered Soul Suspect, too. But I think I don't have the footage I recorded of it for the part two. So there's going to be a little bit missing. Alright, that's Evie's part. Next is the actual unlocking of England. London, whatever. It's actually London. <laughs> I will see you next time, Interwebs. Uh, get it while it's on sale. It's a really good game. There's, a, It has a lot to offer. And it's fun as fuck to play. Trolls, a little bit wonky, but that could be said about any Assassin's Creed game. Till next time. Later.